Welcome to the installation video of the Kurtz 60635 Underbed Install Kit with a 60607 Double Lock Gooseneck Hitch on a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 Quad Cab with a short bed. In this installation we'll be using a lift. Like most of our installations, this vehicle does not need to be elevated for the install. We estimate this installation to take one and a half to three hours depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by removing the spare tire. On four-wheel drive applications, remove the plastic wheel well inserts by removing the fasteners. Find your center point by measuring the tailgate end of the truck bed. Hook a tape measure over the back of the truck box and measure four to five inches in front of the axle. 44 and 3 8 for short bed installations and 48 and 3 8 for long bed installations. Next, divide the distance between the wheel wells by two. The intersection of these two measurements will give you the center point to drill the required four inch circle. Using a four inch hole saw, drill into the bed where you have marked. When cutting into the truck bed with the hole saw, be sure to add cutting grease or a lubricant to prevent damage to the blade. Use a touch-up paint to reduce the probability of rust. Install the rear cross arm by sliding it in between the truck bed and the truck frame on the passenger side. Swing the driver's side into place and then push the cross arm towards the back of the truck with the holes facing the front end of the truck. Install the front cross arm by sliding it between the truck frame and the truck bed above one of the rear tires in the same fashion as the rear cross arm. Raise the center section into position between the cross arms with the ball cylinder towards the front of the truck. Using the supplied half inch bolts, washers, and lock washers, attach the center section to the threaded holes in the front cross arm. You may have to reposition the cross arms. Next, attach the rear cross arm to the center section using the supplied half inch carriage bolts and flange nuts until finger tight. For extended cab short bed applications, it may be necessary to remove the metal tabs from the bed supports prior to installing the side plates. Repeat this process on the opposite side. Thread a one and a half inch bolt with a flat and lock washer into the front flange of the side plate into the threaded front cross arm attachment point. Place a one and a half inch bolt with a flat washer through the back flange of the side plate into the rear cross arm. Fasten with a hex flange nut finger tight. Align one hole and one rear hole of each side plate into the existing holes in the truck frame. Fasten with a supplied one and a half inch bolt, flat washer, and hex nut to the truck frame. Repeat this process on the opposite side. Torque all fasteners to the value specified in the supplied instruction sheet by first tightening the center section to the front and rear cross arms. Next, torque the side plates to the truck frame on both sides. And finally, the side plate flanges to the front and rear cross arms. From underneath the truck, use the center section as a template to drill four half inch holes in the lower rib section of the truck bed for the safety chain attachments located here. Using a half inch drill bit, drill the center of each slotted hole in the gooseneck. From inside the truck bed, place the two U-bolts down through the drilled holes. You may need to widen the holes with a step bit. Finish the cut edges with touch-up paint to reduce the probability of rust. From inside the truck bed, place the two U-bolts down through the drilled holes. Install the optional rubber edging and the included chrome ring. From underneath the bed, place a washer, spring, and nylock nut on each of the four U-bolt legs. Fasten the nylock nuts until they are flush with the bottom of the U-bolt. Before installing the handle rod, some trucks may require that you use a crescent wrench to bend out the wheel well. In some extreme cases, you may need to cut and modify the wheel well to accommodate the handle rod.
plastic wheel well covers will need to be modified to accommodate the handle assembly and to properly operate the gooseneck hitch. We recommend using a routing tool or utility knife to modify the wheel well to your desired specifications like we've done here. Insert the handle rod through the modified wheel well, the hole in the center section and plate, and through the rod guide as shown. Insert the locking pin into the ball cylinder with the handle rod hole located on top. Slide the supplied washer and spring over the handle rod before inserting the rod into the locking pin. To ensure proper pull length of the locking pin, you may need to use the additional included washers. Once in place, secure the rod with a bolt and nylock nut. Now replace the spare tire. Find a suitable mounting location for the product usage sticker. Now that everything is installed, let's go over the operation of your new Curt Double Lock Gooseneck Hitch. To remove the pin and reposition the ball, pull the handle out as far as possible and rotate it clockwise until the locking pin is disengaged and locked out. Insert the ball into the cylinder by aligning the ball groove with the cylinder pin. If the groove and pin are not aligned, simply rotate the ball until it drops into place. Rotate the rod handle counterclockwise until the locking pin snaps back into position. When not in use, the Goosenecks trailer ball can be flipped over and conveniently stored within the cylinder and covered with the provided rubber cap. This completes the installation video of the Kurt 60635 underbed install kit with the 60607 double lock gooseneck hitch on a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 quad cab with a short bed. Thank you for watching this video. Now you can bring it. Kurt, the first name in towing products.